Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Cyrus and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be jumping on to another new comedian, Russell Peters. Uh, he's a Canadian and he's an absolute brilliant comedian. I've, I've watched quite a lot, of, a lot of his stuff and I've seen the clip I'm about to play. It's called uh, Beat Up Your Kids. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. Now, white folks, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves tonight so far. And now, I, I, I've talked about white people a lot already, and, um, but I've got to talk to you a little bit more cause, um, because I've got to talk to you about your parenting skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Every time I see it on the news, I get really irritated when I hear them. You shouldn't beat your children. Don't beat your kids. Talk to them. Give them a time out. Beat the motherfuckers. That's what I'm trying to <laughs> White folks, please beat your children. Because non-white parents will beat their kids. Yeah. Your dad's Puerto Rican, your mom's black. They must have whooped your ass for no reason. <laughs> hey, son, come here. What's that for? I know you did some shit when I wasn't here. <laughs> Mexican parents are doing Mira. <laughs> <laughs> They'll beat you, man. Indian parents aren't afraid to kill their kids if they have to, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're the second largest population in the world. Reproduction's not a big deal. <laughs> My dad's theory was if I get rid of one, I'll just make another one. <laughs> then I will tell the new one what an idiot the last one was. Lead with an example. <laughs> you gotta beat your kids, folks, please. And I know a lot of white people don't beat them, and I don't understand why you won't beat your kids. Please beat them. If you have kids and you haven't beaten them, when you go home tonight... <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> shit, when you turn off this DVD, I want you to go into your kid's room and... Hey, hey, buddy, how you doing? Hey, sleeping. Yeah? Oh, that's good. Haven't, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whack! Just one, no, no. <laughs> Whack, you know? <laughs> He's already lying down. He'll sleep it off. Don't worry about it, all right? Yeah. You gotta beat them, and I'll tell you why. <clears throat> because white kids are now going to school with, with black kids and, 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 and brown kids and, and Asian kids, and they're going, to, they're going to school with multicultural kids. And all those kids get beaten. I know where it's going, yeah. <laughs> they'll all be hanging around the playground having fun with each other, you know what I mean? And they'll be, and they'll be talking about the ass whooping they got last night. Black and my dad beat my ass. And you go, my dad beat my ass too? <laughs> I got my ass whooped. <laughs> Do you want that white kid to feel left out? <laughs> beat him so he's not a social outcast. <laughs> I got sent to my room. <laughs> you got a room? <laughs> beat them, please. And I'll tell you why you need to beat them. Why else? <coughs> because when... When white kids hang around non-white kids, we tend to look at them for advice. And it could get us murdered if we listen to their fucked up advice <laughs> on how to deal with our parents. That right. I remember when I was 10 years old, I hung around this little white kid, Ryan. Ryan's parents never beat him, and they never even yelled at him. He could do anything he wanted, and nothing was going to happen to him. But he was an angry kid. He walked into his house after school one day, his mom goes, Ryan, go clean your room. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! Oh, can never even imagine. Ooh, fuck no. Never. His mom goes, what am I going to do with him? <laughs> Beat his ass. <laughs> I go, Ryan, you can't talk to your mom like that. Yes, I can. She's a fucking idiot. Oh. Don't say that, man. She'll hit you. No, she won't. She's not allowed to. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? My parents hit me. Yeah, well, next time they try it, you tell them to fuck off. Don't listen to the white kid. <laughs> you dig in your own grave, man. Are you sure? <laughs> Trust me, it works for me. So I went home for the last time. <laughs> I 
I walked in the house, my dad goes, Russell, come and do the dishes. Fuck you, dad. Ah, bruv. Nah, bruv. You won't be able to sit tomorrow. <laughs> What the hell did you just say to me? Do I look like Ryan's mom? <laughs> Somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. Yeah. <laughs> that was my dad's threat. Right before he beat me, every single time. Russell. Somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. <laughs> I hated that threat. You know why? Because he'd always say somebody. <laughs> he'd never tell you it was you. I mean, you knew it was you. But he'd give you this hope. <laughs> Even worse. Russell. Somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. Somebody. <laughs> I'm not gonna say who. Oh, I think you might know him very well. <laughs> I'm in the back praying. I hope it's my brother, man. Please <laughs> beat Julio's ass. <laughs> I saw that little brat Ryan at school a few days later. I was like, yo, your little plan almost got me killed. He goes, oh, sorry, dude. I forgot to tell you the other part. If he's still going to hit you, threaten to phone child services. Why? Because if you phone child services, they'll come and take your dad away and he'll get in trouble. You won't even have to call. Just pretend it'll scare the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Old, you figure out how to scare the shit out of your dad? That's like finding kryptonite. <laughs> I thought I'd try it. I was about to get my next beating. I stopped my dad. I go, don't do it. I'll phone child services. <laughs> the bravado's back. You ever had your parents call your bluff? You'll do what? <laughs> I'll phone child services. Is that right? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, let me get you the phone, tough guy. <laughs> what are you doing? If I phone child services, you'll get in trouble. I might get into a little bit of trouble. But I know that it's going to take them 22 minutes to get here. <laughs> In that time, somebody <laughs> gonna get a hurt real bad. Thank you very much. Good night. So, that was Russell Peters, Beat Your Kids. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorite bits from Russell. And I've seen this uh, quite a long time ago i've seen quite a almost all of his stand-ups i'm a huge fan of him i really do enjoy this comedy because i can really relate and the thing about beat uh your kids i've been there man i've had my ass whooped by my dad so many times i can't i lost count but i used to be bit of a rascal i used to be a bit of a uh, uh what do you call it naughty boy when i was young i used to run away from school and spend my day at arcade and spend all my money my Teacher told my parents, I go, my dad whooped my ass. And when I returned to school, my teacher whooped my ass as well. So that was doubly bad. And also, I don't know any white kid uh, that got beat up. And considering almost most of my friends are white. And I've never heard them say anything about they got beat up. And I was in a position where I was like, did something and my dad put me in my place. It was absolute it was painful, man. I'm not going to lie. But it was an abuse. It was just to teach us a lesson. Look, don't do some fucked up shit. You know what I mean? There's going to be consequences for it. But it wasn't uh, bad. It still hurt though when you're young. And I, as I mentioned, I've seen quite a bit of Russell Peters. And the whole bit about uh, if you threaten your parents or curse at your parents. Oh my God, dude. The sort of beating you're going to get. You, oh, you couldn't sit down for a few days. And uh, it's, it was, it, it's bad, man. You can't do that. You shouldn't treat your parents badly, regardless of whatever anybody says. So, but still, I really did enjoy that. I hope you did too. If you did, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time.